hello everyone welcome to up simplified so here i am back with another notification from university of kerala so here they have opened phd admissions in this website you can go to this research portal and uh, before that let me tell you that uh, it's the this is the university of kerala and here you can see they have provided the nirf ranking that is ninth state public category and 21st university category so you can see these ranking and also they have provided the uh, asia ranked so you can see all these things so okay let's go to the notification now so the research portal when you will click on this you will get to see this page in this uh, in this page you can see the notification different kind of notifications are given over here so in this you have to click on the phd notification that is phd registration notification july 2025 click here so i have already opened that so this is the uh, notification for phd admission in university of kerala so here you can see notification for phd registration july 2025 session so applicant Applications are invited from eligible candidate of Indian nationals for online registration to full-time or part-time research leading to award of PhD degree of the university. Okay, so selected candidates shall carry out their research under supervision of recognized regular research supervisor in university department. Okay, so let us see the eligibility criteria. So candidates who have master's degree with uh, one or two semester duration and bachelor's degree program or two or four year master's degree program after three year bachelor's degree program they are eligible provided that a candidate seeking admission after a four year or eight semester bachelor degree program should have minimum 75 percentage marks in aggregate okay and then after that qualified in the entrance test conducted by this university either you have to qualify the test that is conducted by the university or you have to qualify national eligibility test that is net conducted by ugc or csir icr icmr or gate or state level eligibility test conducted by the kerala government or fellowship awarded by the central and state government okay so here they have given three categories for that category one include eligibility for the award of jrf appointment as assistant professor and admission to phd category two include eligibility for appointment as assistant professor and admission to phd and third include eligibility for admission to phd only okay now coming to the another qualification that is candidate who have passed m field degree with minimum B grade in UGC 7 point scale with at least 55 percentage mark they are also eligible then uh, candidates possessing equivalent qualification from foreign educational institution they are also eligible and relaxation of 5 percentage marks may be allowed for those belonging to SC, ST or OBC. So now which all are exempted from the entrance test? exemption from the entrance test so the following categories are exempted first is the teacher of the university or government or uh, aided college they are exempted having seven or more year of teaching experience are exempted from the entrance test another category that include that is exempted from the entrance test is scientists working in approved research lab either owned or managed by central or state government or in autonomous research institute with again seven year of experience okay so seven year of experience must be there third category which are exempted are those candidates who have qualified ugc net jrf dbt jrf dst inspire gate and research fellowship of central or state government fourth category that include teacher fellowship holder and mphil degree holder they are also exempted from the exam and awardees of DST Women Scientist Scheme by the Department of Science and Technology. Then candidates who have passed MPhil program with the minimum grade B in the UGC 7 point scale with at least 55% marks and awardees of VSSC JRF, they are also exempted from the exam. So there are seven categories in which the candidates are exempted from the entrance exam of PhD. 
now allocation of supervisors or availability of seats so approved research supervisor having at least 3 year of service remaining for the superannuation uh, the last date of submitting application only shall be eligible okay so these are given the allocation for the uh, professors so you can see all this uh, you can just read go through it and next coming to the procedures i will be going mainly to the procedure for the admission so here you have to be it is based on the criteria notified by the university then registration shall be granted only on the basis of merit and subject to the availability of vacancies and selection of candidate with to the phd program shall be based on either of the following method as applicable to the student either you have to qualify the national exam or uh, a national level test or state level test or the selection of the candidate who qualified MPhil degree and PhD entrance exam conducted by the university we shall be based on an interview provided that the selection of candidate who qualify the entrance test conducted by university weightage of 70 percentage marks for entrance test and 30 percentage marks for the performance in interview so the selection is divided into two categories first 70 percentage marks which you have got in the entrance test and 30 percentage will be based on your interview then candidates called for the initial screening and subsequent presentation before doctoral subcommittee will be intimated through email address then candidates who fail to attend initial screening process shall not be considered for further procedure to admission then mode of research they have given the mode of in research you can also go through this whether you have to uh, do the part time or full time then coursework they are also given like admitted to phd they have to go through the coursework program for a minimum period of one semester that is six months with 14 credit within first year since the date of registration then um, scholars possessing mphil degree with research methodology course in curriculum will be exempted from appearing paper one research and publication ethics paper two is made compulsory for all phd scholars and ethical committee clearance is mandatory for research work now how to apply so this is important you have to apply through online mode and uh, ugc jrf qualified candidates who are permitted to join phd after last date of submitting application called for in the previous session of phd registration shall sub submit their online application in that session then registration fees is given they have to pay rupees 800 through online mode facility uh, provided in the research portal no other mode of payment is accepted and once if it is received it will not be refunded then important points to remember so it's very much important is the last date last date it is 15 july till 5 pm okay and uh, after that any query you can go to this email id so after this i will be telling you about the vacancies that are present in each subject so here you can see the vacancies right subjects having vacancies uh, in each so in aquatic biology and fishery the vacancy is 11 and in biochemistry it's 5 in biotech it's 13 then in botany it's 51 major vacancies present in uh, botany and uh, then after that you can see environmental science it's 17 vacancies are there then um, yeah microbiology microbiology it's four vacancies so as you can see there are a lot of vacancies are present in this university uh, yeah in zoology subject it's 136 so uh, after botany the zoology is having the major vacancies seats having no vacancies so like computational biology is not vacant right now and while meanwhile all other subject like i have told you zoology botany biotech biochemistry even aquatic biology fisheries these are all having a lot of vacancies so you can just check this university 
if you are interested to go through this so this was all about university of kerala phd program thank you